Today's video is going to be video game related, but I don't want to disappoint you guys in the future because it's not always going to be video game related as everything behind me is video game related, but I like to do a bunch of different things like music and sometimes makeup and I'm girly but also nerdy but uh, so this is going to be a nerdy video, but it is probably going to anger most of you. Probably. From the title of this video, you can tell that I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts. Still not sure what I'm going to title it, but it's something along the lines of like, I played Kingdom Hearts wrong, or I played Kingdom Hearts backwards, or I like Roxas more than I like Sora. And there is a big story as to why that is. Let's just get into it. I might have been in middle school. There was this thing called Blockbuster where you could rent movies and games. I don't know how old you guys are, but that does not exist anymore. And it was my favorite thing. I loved renting games and movies. I didn't get to do it enough though. We could not afford to be doing that. It was like seven bucks a rental, and then the longer you kept it, the more you had to pay, that kind of thing. Similar to Redbox, except with people. It was great. We would rent games every so often. I had seen Kingdom Hearts forever on Game Informer magazines, because we used to get those, and that was my favorite thing. Eventually, we broke down and got the game, brought it home. We started playing it, and that opening theme was LIT! I loved it so much. And it's a good thing I loved it too, because we couldn't play past it. It was scratched all to hell, and we could not get the game to play for the life of us. We cleaned it as much as we could, did the toothpaste trick even though we probably shouldn't have because it wasn't our disc, but it would not work. So we would play the song over and over, over and over, just oh! <laughs> Over and over, so much that my mom fell in love with the song. So we didn't get to play it. We didn't get to experience one second of it besides the opening theme song. But we were hooked. We really liked what we saw from there. So what were we gonna do? There was no other choice in game. We couldn't find any other place that had Kingdom Hearts 1. So we did the next logical thing. And instead we rented Kingdom Hearts 2. And this is a story about how we played Kingdom Hearts 2 before we played Kingdom Hearts 1. So we started the game and it worked perfectly. Perfectly. And we were confused. It was very hard to play the game and not know what's going on. Especially because we come into this game expecting Sora and we have Roxas. And he doesn't remember anything. So we are stuck basically in the same exact boat as Roxas. He would get these flashbacks, we wouldn't understand them. But then again, he didn't understand them either. And eventually, you know, Sora comes back, Roxas disappears, and then we finish the game. And Roxas never comes back besides the ending theme where you just see him flash to Roxas from Sora and then back. We spent days crying. Like, we were a mess. That night, me and my sister went to bed and sobbed into our pillows because we loved Roxas. We loved him. He was our main character for the game and suddenly he wasn't real. That messes you up. Like, imagine you're playing as Link all this time and it turns out it's actually Zelda. It's named Zelda for a reason. It's only Zelda who's the main character. And then you never see Link again. It was like that. Except Link, though he has a really sad story, he's not a full-blown character. There's a lot of things you have to assume with Link. But with Sora and Roxas, they were two separate entities that you fall for as you play. And we fell for Roxas way too hard. And so, we could not get back to that game. It was a long, long time before we finally went and got Kingdom Hearts 1 and we purchased it that time. It was probably years. It was kind of traumatic. I was in middle school. I am easily traumatized. That is just how it was. Then we played it and we understood more parts. Like, I should play it again so I can actually get everything in the right order like it needs to be. But back then, everything was about Roxas. So, seeing teasers for other Kingdom Hearts and seeing that there was a character that 
look like Roxas, but I find out it's not actually Roxas, it's this other person. But I haven't played that game, so I don't know much about it. It's like, I can't wait to actually have Roxas again. And the fact that he's teased to be in Sora's heart and able to be brought out in the next game has me incredibly excited. Can you imagine if in Smash you have Sora, but his echo is Roxas? Just think about that for a second. So that is how we played. Was there anything that I missed? I said. I played the game. I was basically us playing as Roxas and being him instead of being Sora because we didn't play the first game. That he had amnesia. We basically had amnesia because we didn't know what was going on. And then all of a sudden we were losing. And then the only time we saw him was when he flashes, and that made us sob. Wow! Stop it! I loved him. We loved him. Whenever we hear the opening theme to Kingdom Hearts 2, My Sanctuary, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. It's just, I, there is water in my eyeballs right now. That song just gets me. I have to do a cover of that song. That one's special to us. We love Simple and Clean, but my sanctuary, every single time it gets to us. You know, you have your childhood games and you go back to play and it's reminiscent, but if you do it too many times, it loses that wonderlust. This song has never lost that for us. I don't know if that's because we've never like owned the song and played it a billion times, but it's stuck with us. And that that's Roxas' song. So basically, there's a lot of trauma for us when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 2 and the music and Roxas in general. But I'm still excited for Kingdom Hearts 3, and I'm glad I could share this story with you, even though you'll probably hate it, because who plays the second one first and then the first one? Nobody but us. That's what you're gonna find out with us, is that we were very unconventional. So you're gonna have to get used to that if you're gonna stay subscribed to this channel or subscribed if you're new. But I hope you enjoy this video as much as you could. Thank you for being patient and listening to this story. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to become a fairy today. I'd love to have you in my fairy's fountain. Again, this isn't always going to be about video games, but I do love me some video games. Come along on this journey if you'd like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later fairies. Bye! When you walk away, you don't hear me say, in you and I, there's a new lay. She <laughs> wipes Noah, starts tearing. I'm sweating, actually. Your voice doesn't Angel. bring me to tears.